As I've mentioned in previous videos, I've got a lot of old Android devices because they pretty much give them away like candy. I want to do useful projects with them. Some of those projects are things like security cameras around my house, dash cam for my car, GPS tracker for my car. It'd be nice to low jack your car, right? And I've been playing around with these options, but one thing for all three of those that you probably want to do, <laughs> almost dropped the phones, um, is set it so that it always powers on when connected to power. So that, let's say I'm using this as a tracker in my car. I can have it plugged into the power from the car, hidden somewhere, then if the power goes off on the car, this will run probably for a day or two at least, recording GPS locations before the battery dies. But if it does die, when the power comes back on for the car, I want this to turn back on. It's super simple to do. You don't have to do any unlocking of the bootloader. You do need to go into the bootloader and just issue one command. Uh, and as I said, I, I've read that you don't need to unlock the bootloader, but all my devices do have the bootloader unlocked because why wouldn't you? Um, oh, fake security! Okay, first thing we need to do is to get into the bootloader on your device. Not all devices, but most devices, you uh, restart it or turn it off, and then when you turn it on, hold down the down volume button, and after a little bit, you will get a screen. Might look different on your device, but this is it. If your device is running fast boot, which most devices are, Samsung's the only ones I know of off the top of my head, at least last I checked, don't use fast boot. Most other Android devices do. And that's what we're going to do this with. If your device isn't running fast boot, I don't know how to do this. Next thing you need to do, plug a USB cable into your phone or tablet, and then plug it into your computer. Then the only other thing you need is fast boot installed on your computer, which if you're running Linux, it should be in your repository. So just use your package manager to install it. And then you just need to issue this command, fast boot OEM, off dash mode dash change and you're going to change it to one of two states. If you want the phone or device to always turn on whenever it's connected to power, you issue a zero. If you've done that and you want to undo it, you issue one. So let's go ahead and do that for this device. I'll run that and hit enter. You'll see that it says off mode charge disabled and you'll probably get the output of how long it took the commands run, which was a fraction of a second. So we're going to see this in action, but first let me mention how this will act. Uh, because it was a little bit different than I originally thought. I originally thought that if I had it off and I plugged it in, it would automatically turn on. I've seen some devices do that. I'm pretty sure my daughter's Amazon Fire tablet, if it's off and you plug it in, it turns on. And I thought that was what was going to happen. But with what we just did, anytime this thing is hooked to power, you cannot turn it off. You can shut it down, but it will automatically turn back on if it's connected to power. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose power off from my menu here and it should power off. And it did. But if I was to grab a USB cable hooked to my computer or any source of power and plug it in, it should turn on. Now again, I'll let this boot and then we'll try shutting it down while it's plugged in and we'll see what happens. So it's booted. I'm going to hold down the power button and from the menu I'm going to choose Power off, not restart, but power off. Now, let's see what happens. Normally, it would turn off and stay off, but since we've changed the settings on the phone and I have a USB cable plugged in, it will automatically turn back on, which is great if you're using it for one of those scenarios I was talking about, a security camera, a dash cam, or a GPS tracker, something where you want the phone on all the time. And this way, if it gets powered off, it will automatically go back on, so it will always be recording. And I will, uh, in future videos, talk about and recommend some software that does recording and GPS tracking and all that. Now, it's like, if it was to die, as soon as the power comes back on, it's going to turn back on. So, now, let's undo it. So again, I am now going to power it off. I'm hitting the power button. There we go. This time, I'm just going to hit restart. And as it restarts, I'm going to hold down the down volume button. And again, this is how it is on most devices. There may be some devices that are different. And we should, there we go, get to the bootloader screen. And we will run the same command as last time, but instead of zero, we will say one. When we hit enter, it will tell us that we have now enabled the off mode charge. If I go down to power off and I power off this time, it should stay off. So now it's off and charging. So again, from what I've read, you don't need to unlock your bootloader. I can't confirm that, again, because all my devices 
are unlocked because I think you should unlock your bootloader. Um, and there's going to be people who disagree with me. It's all right. You can disagree with me. Um, but yeah, that's the command. Simple command. You can undo it, redo it. You're not unlocking the bootloader, so you aren't voiding any war warranties or anything like that. But now you can use this device as basically an always-on device as long as it's plugged into power. Hope you found this useful. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. If you like my videos, there's a support section on my page. And also, uh, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.